If you are joining me for the first time, please remember to click subscription button and hit that notification bell to be the first person to receive the video that will be produced by DevTech Media. DevTech Media, updating you. DevTech Media, subscribe to DevTech Media. Right. Um, I have just. Uh, uh, I want to inform the nation uh, this evening of um, very sad development that we only experienced and witnessed under the one-party state, under the new dawn, under the leadership of Misaka and H. Lema, we have gone back to the days of having torture chambers. This evening, we have just uh, gotten information of the fact that uh, the former head of state, uh, President Lungus Babaman, who was apprehended in the name of wanting to investigate over some matters, particularly a Mongu saga, he has been subjected from Saturday to torture and now he's gossiping for life in some police cell where he's been moved from police station to police station and wherever they are torturing him from in Kanundu. If he survives up to tomorrow, it will just be by the grace of God. We are aware that uh, Misaka in the is obsessed with wanting to find something he can use to implicate the former head of state. But I think because he has now run out of options and found that there's nothing that, you know, is there to substantiate their claims and smear campaign that they conducted before the general election, suggesting that there were criminal activities conducted under the auspice of President Edgar Chakulungu. Now he has begun to go for his you know, AIDS, he has begun to go for even people that were associated to him remotely like a barber man. We want to call upon Human Rights Commission and other stakeholders who claim to be undertaking a responsibility of making sure that we adhere to human rights to go for a manhunt, in this case, to go and start searching to where Shebi Chirekwa is who is at the, at the verge of dying because of the torture and the, the beatings that he has been subjected for, you know, you know, to by the intelligence officers, UPND cadres led by Mr. Mainza, as well as the, you know, the police officers. And further on, we have just come to learn that um, uh, zooming with the binocracy, uh, Mr. Haimbe, who is the Minister of Justice, has been manipulating and blackmailing the former aid, aid, press aid to President you know, Edgar Chagalungu in the name of Om Amos Chanda, offering that he needs to go and try and tell a story to President HH tomorrow to try and appease him because the president is desperate and grasping for some information he can try and use to make to implicate the former president. So Amos Chanda is scheduled for an appointment tomorrow, coached to go and say some lies against the former president or indeed other colleagues within you know, the government that they served together. It's very unfortunate that the government of today, the so-called New Dawn government, if not New Dark government, is using blackmail, using under method fraud, including torture, to try and get some kind of uh, um, uh, uh, information, which basically will end up to be false, to try and satisfy somebody who is who's nursing their paranoia and obsession towards vengeance and vindictiveness. It's very unfortunate, and uh, we plead and pray, obvious for the survival of Chirekwa. But all of us, let's rise up and defend the human rights of citizens. Thank you very much for tuning in at DevTech Media. Remember, DevTech Media is the media that shares news, trending videos, political news, gospel music, as well as entertainment. Please, 
don't forget to click that subscription button and that notification bell to be the very first person to receive the video that will be produced and posted by DevTech Media. DevTech Media, updating you!